I think some of the main points is um, we are going into a few hard times coming forward. Um, and if you don't prepare for it, th 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 then you may fall off um, and struggle a little bit. But if you prepare for it, if you continue to, to reinvent your brand, keep bringing in innovation, then the South African market will grow. Uh, and I know you're, you're, sorry, you're asking the question about Africa, but specifically with, with, with the Fresh Top brand, we're mainly focusing on South Africa at the moment. And we believe that the continued reinvention of the brand, reinvention of the products coming in, um, that we will be able to compete. If we look at the, 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 the complete industry and what's happening in South Africa, um, a lot of companies, fuel companies, are moving into the, the convenience arena. And I believe that, that, that with that, it can only do good for the industry. Um, lifting the industry from, from where it was to where it is. And if you compare what our, some of our competitors are doing with bringing in coffee brands, with bringing in fra fast food brands, compared to the old five C's that you used to get in the past from a C store, I, I believe we're now miles in advance. So we also do a lot of work internationally. Uh, and, and we look at what we see in Europe and we look at what we see in America and we bring back a lot of ideas from there. We, we, we mold them a little bit, Africanize them, then work with them on our corporate sites, use a few of the, the leaders in, the, in, in our industry, in our brand, test it there and then launch it to the rest of the market. And I believe that a lot of those new ideas are, are putting South Africa on the map. And, and if I could say recently, we've had people coming from Australia, from Chile, uh, even from Ireland to come and take a look at some of the things that we're doing here in South Africa. It's a business value uh, and when you're in franchising and dealing with franchisees and franchisors and the industry we're in, we're dealing with a, a, an international corporate in Chevron and the Caltex brand. The, the key factor around this whole business model is, is, a, is an equal share of profitability. It's got to be a win situation for each partner. Um, I truly believe success breeds success. Me as a franchisor, if I'm going to launch something that I believe I'm going to get a 90% hit rate, then it's not good enough. We've got to be on 99.9% .9 hit rate. Yes, we will make mistakes along the way. We've got to accept that. And if you are launching something and you do see there is a mistake, the key around that, that again is then re, 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 reinventing, change it around, bring something new in and make sure that, that it is right and that there is a value for the retailer, for the franchisor and for the corporate that you're dealing with us in the situation that we're in. And on top of that, the, the, the bottom line is the customer has got to gain a benefit. So success for us, success for franchisee, success for our, our international partner, and mostly success and, and benefit our, our customer who comes in and he gets his prize that he comes in the convenience store to get. And that prize has got to be in that store at the right price, right place.